Hey folks, welcome back to Red Tail Fan Channel. Here's a lesson tutorial on how you might make a lunch count system. And this lunch count system is set up so that you would use a form to collect the data. And let's take a look at what that form looks like. We have broken, say, an elementary school into uh, eight teachers, just as this example. And what you do then is you have these different sections. Um, my sections are set up with the students that belong to each different teacher. And then you um, go ahead and when the students want to submit, I can submit another response. And let's say you're with teacher five, that would be an actual teacher's name. That's a list of uh, the, the students in teacher five Louise is going to submit, and she's having hot, and we submit. And if we do that and then take a look at this, we can see that now we have um, uh, the data that we've collected. We can see we've got a couple from Teacher 5. This is for today. Um, so what, what we do is collect the data. We then query it off to a page for just today. And you can see um, how it comes in. Uh, the challenge is when the data comes in across these multiple sections, you have to find a way to consolidate that data to do this kind of analysis with it, like we do on the dashboard. We do that on our metrics page. We have a array literal here where we're pulling in the date, the name, and the lunch choice. Well, the date, the name, the lunch choice the teacher, and and then the grade. Uh, what we're doing with the teacher is doing a VLOOKUP, and that's based on the, um, uh, we're doing a VLOOKUP of the student. So when you pull in the student name, then you look up their teacher and their grade and so forth. And we can do some more calculations with that. This uh, a, a virtual uh, or array literal is, doing a, uh, we're flattening the data that we bring in. And you can see we have three array literals. So that's the three columns. So I have three different queries uh, and that by a comma there and another query we're flattening. In this case, we're flattening just A to A. So if we take a look at today and flatten A to A, we're just pulling in the date. And then in the second one, we're pulling in C to J and flattening it. So we're pulling in all of this data and flattening it into a single column. And then we are pulling in the last bit, which is uh, K. And K is the choice. So with our metrics page, with this formula, we're, we're converting this data into just three columns, the name, well, the date, the name, and the lunch choice. And then we're doing this virtual lookup just because that'll give us some other data. But then we're doing a count here of our hot and cold and so forth and lunch counts by teachers. So what happens, uh, this is for today. And as this gets submitted, this might be in a Chromebook in every classroom. Students just come in, uh, as you've seen, they. Uh, they click that, they choose their teacher, they find their name next, and they choose their lunch. And that data immediately populates on our spreadsheet. So we should see five students for today. There's Stephanie Banks, we got a couple of uh, for each. And, and this also then lets me sort of uh, analyze which, uh, which lunch counts are are, you know, which teachers are not actually getting their lunch counts done. So how does this all work? Well, we've described some of this. Simple form, collect the data. It's broken into these different sections. We showed that here. One of the things that I've added to this to make it work better is if we take a look here at our students page. I've got a lot of students in here. I, I think I have a thousand names or something and I randomly generated this stuff and randomly generated. Um, uh, in, in this case, I was 
playing around with some different ideas. In this example, I was looking at breaking students into last name, uh, the first initial of last name, and then in this example, we're just creating a set of students based on teacher and assigning students to teachers. And here, what I'm doing is I am uh, setting this, uh, this is a set of formulas here, uh, these, and I'm just pulling in a set of, uh, of uh, data for each one of these uh, teachers. In this case, I am um, um, I'm looking at, let's see, we're selecting where it equals A1, yeah. So I it, right now I've got this limit to 15. If I drag this formula across, um, that'll give me 15 students for every one of my teachers. Now the nice thing about this, take a look at this. So right now you look at this, I've got 15 students here, but I only have like 10 students in teacher two. But if I come here to this lunch and I click this script button, update form, watch what happens over here, suddenly all of my teach, uh, students are updated. So the app script keeps the form up to date with a simple click of the button. So if I add new students to any one of these teacher columns, click this button, the form gets updated and a student's automatically added into the system. Uh, that's one of the scripts that we have running to in the background to, to make this work. Um, some of these other sheets here, these are the form IDs in order to make that script work. Let's take a quick look at that script. We would open up app script and take a look at what this is doing. So what we're doing is um, updating the different uh, uh, values and we're using, first of all, the form ID. I think we, we put that right here. So that's the form ID of your form. And then I, um, I ran a separate script that pulled back all of the uh, IDs for the different um, sections of the form. And then I'm using those IDs. So, and, and this is the ID for this, uh, the second uh, teacher two, ID for teacher three and so forth and so, so on. And then when you run the script, you're basically having the script run through and replace the data with the list that it finds here on the teachers. It finds that list of students. So that script runs and, and cleans that up. So the nice thing about this system is A, it gives the office an immediate and up-to-date count for lunch for today. When they come in tomorrow, it's gonna to be blank until the teachers start filling this in because even though we're collecting the data and we could analyze the data for any day of the year once we get this up and running, but the metrics are based only on today. Let's say you wanna go back and see a different day on the choose date tab, you can click on your calendar. I know I've got some date in the, data in there for September 1st. I think that's the only data that I've played around with this, with this. So the dashboard is just gonna reflect the information for today. The office knows exactly how many hot, cold, and salad bars. It shows that in a table format. It also shows, you know, displays which teachers have uh, been filling out the form so the office could call down and say, hey, your kids have not filled out their, their, their lunch counts yet. Uh, so there's the data. This tab is uh, breaking things out into day. We have a simple script here, or uh, excuse me, a simple query, pulling in the information for today. This is a set of queries as well, but it's pulling in the data and letting us build our metrics. This is just a way to look at date other than today. Our list of teachers and their students, and in this case, um, I am updating that from this list that I have. Um, and I basically have assigned, you know, what do I have here? Uh, let me just click here and see. So I have a thousand students in here and I've assigned them to these different teachers and grade levels randomly. Initially, I believe these were uh, rand betweens just so I could create this data set. Um, and then I am using a query here 
to pull the data and I'm only pulling 15 students, but that was to demonstrate how you can update the form with a click of a button so that nobody's managing the form. So that's it. That's a lunch count system. Um, let's uh, uh, see if it would uh, possibly work for you and your schools. It's been a while since I've been in schools and you know maybe lunch counts are done differently, but back in the day, this was always a difficult challenge to get lunch counts.